Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film is uh, a little bit more on uh, SunPath and Sun Signings with the ultimate goal of getting to rendering. But as I mentioned also before, uh, one of the desirable aspects of uh, setting your sun and location is that you can maximize the design of your house in order to take advantage of the, what little sunlight we get in the wintertime and try to minimize it in summertime. So let's talk a little bit more about SunPath and what we can do to change it. We've moved back from Hawaii, moved to Washington State. So, like I mentioned before, elements that are editable that uh, you can modify in Revit Architecture are typically blue in color. And if you look at your sun path right now, the two items that are that we can change is the time of day and the date. So right now we have it set to June 21st, which is our summer solstice. And if you haven't been to the summer solstice parade in Seattle and Fremont, that's really kind of fun. That's really a fun party. But um, that's where I would be on June 21st, or the Saturday that just precedes that. And we can change the time here too, so both of these elements you can change. So let's go ahead and change our time, just for a demonstration. Right now it's at 1.15 p.m., and if I manipulate my house and make it so we're looking at the house on the north-south uh, meridian, or relatively close to that, you notice know, so the sun is a little bit off-center from that. So at about noontime, at real time, on the solstice, it's going to be really close to where that meridian is. You know, perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit later in the afternoon, maybe uh, ten minutes later, perhaps it'll be right on top of the meridian there. Okay, so what we're not taking in consideration right now is uh, daylight savings time. You can take that in consideration if you like. I'm kind of an absolute kind of time kind of guy. I don't really like the idea of being compelled to get up an extra hour early and going to bed an extra hour later in the summertime. You know. I think it's kind of weird, but uh, you can change that since everybody else is on uh, that kind of uh, time. If you go back to your location and click on uh, the check mark box down here for use daylight savings time, if you want to do it that way, that's how you change that. So go to OK. I'm not going to change it. We'll keep the absolute times and we'll talk about this a little bit further. So you can change your sun path. It's nice to be able to uh, maybe take advantage of the uh, like the deep winter months to see where the sun might be there and enhance the sunlight coming in the window. A couple of ways you can do that. Remember, I was telling you about the date. You can change the date. And there's three elements here with the date you can uh, change. Uh, you can change the month. You can change the the date, and you can change the year on it. And uh, in regard to the time, I show you how to do that too. The elements you can change in time, or the the hour, the minute, and if you want to change whether it's a.m. or p.m you can uh, just do the toggles up and down and that'll allow you to do that. One thing it won't allow you to do if you want to do like uh, where's the sun going to be at midnight uh, it's not going to do that. It's either going to take the sun and put it right at sunrise or right at sunset if you try to change that. Another way to manipulate the sun position is to take that arc that defines uh, where the sun's going to travel along the ecliptic uh, you know approximately you can take that and actually move that. It'll show you the range in, gray, in uh, that uh, kind of a goldenrod color. It'll show you the range where you can uh, you know, move that along. So you can get an idea. Maybe if you want to put it uh, somewhere around spring or fall and put it where it's going to rise or set, where, uh, you know, where it's in the you know, first day of spring or the first day of fall, or somewhere around those dates, it's going to set you know, due west and set uh, or rise uh, due east. So, just understanding the mechanics of where the sun might be uh, during those days and times uh, will help you with your design. And again, you can take the sun. It's highlighted in blue here, too, if you click on it. You can move that sun around along the ecliptic, along the path that the sun's going to travel on. So, I think I kind of explained that relatively thoroughly. In our next video, we'll talk a little bit more and get into a little bit more about rendering.